The Swiss show off a solar powered ski lift, wacky wind power without the whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. K cups are cluttering our kitchens. And landfills. All this and more on this week's Green Tech Weekly. Welcome back to Green Tech Weekly. This is show number 26. We're still making some changes around here, but most of them will be behind the scenes. And soon we are adding a newer, bigger studio called 10 Forward. But enough about that. Let's get into the green tech. I mean, that's what we're here for, right? For this first story, the tiny town of Tenna in Switzerland has the world's first solar powered ski lift. The cable car system has 80 solar panels mounted on the lift. At 492 yards, the lift can handle 800 skiers per hour, all run by the sun. As a backup, the lift is still connected to the grid just in case something happens like a blizzard or cloud cover. Or an avalanche or a dastardly plan by a James Bond villain. <laughs> the panels follow the sun making sure it captures as much energy as possible and the excess energy is fed back into the grid when not in use. In our next story, resident smart guy Heath Evedeman and the Nottingham Trent University's Future Factory Project are thinking outside of the box with this new design to harvest power from the wind. Its horizontal airfoil works exactly like an airplane's wing with blade lengths from 3.28 feet and up to 49 feet. The wind causes the airfoil to lift. Once at the top, it tips back down and lowers. This reciprocating motion spins the generator and makes electricity. The beauty of this design is that it can be placed as low as 1.64 feet off the ground and still work. The other option is to put these on top of the house and buildings. For now, they are looking at sites inside of Britain's Peak District National Park and then plant the plan is to move into industrial areas. They also hope to someday use them in the farming industry to make farms carbon neutral. In our next story, we hope to make some people a little more conscious about what they drink. And Jared, I hope you don't use these. Yes, I'm listening. Good. So raise your hand out there if your coffee maker uses a single serving pack like the K-Cups that are so popular these days. Don't be shy. Okay, that's better. So the little cups that are used in making that coffee are starting to really pile up. And I don't mean in your trash can. The three parts that make up these are plastic, paper, and aluminum. Separate, these are recyclable, but when they are fused together like this, they are not, and pile up in the landfill. I knew these things were sinister. I didn't trust them from the beginning. Okay. Anyway, companies like Keurig have acknowledged that they are not good for the environment and that they are working on a replacement, but the fact that the U.S. is drinking an average of 400 million cups of coffee per day, the piles of these little cups in the landfills will grow by leaps and bounds before the cups are replaced. So that brings us to our tip of the day. Always unplug your toaster. Wait, what? What? <laughs> I don't think that's right. Oh, I mean, sorry. Use a normal coffee maker. Yay. Now for something completely different. With two thirds of the earth covered in water, but only 3% of it drinkable, we know that we have to all conserve. One of the ways that this can be done is when taking a shower. That's what the water pebble plans to do. I already conserved water when taking a shower. How's that? I take military style showers. But with all that hair, it takes an hour of turning on and off the water. Oh, ha, ha. The $10 gadget uses a series of lights to tell you when you have used too much water and should get out. These have been around for a while, so if you want to save water, go get one now. For our fifth story, the University of California at San Diego has been looking at a way to make clean hydrogen fuel cells. But they make hydrogen with electricity from fossil fuel power plants. Meaning that they are using dirty fuels to make clean electricity. I don't get it. They found a way to make solar cells with nanowires made from zinc oxide and silicon. They end up looking like a forest of tiny trees. This will maximize the amount of solar energy captured with all the tiny branches. They use the energy produced to split the water to make hydrogen for the fuel cells. The big plan is to use the tiny trees to mimic photosynthesis by also collecting CO2 at the same time. The other step will be to replace the zinc oxide with a more stable material that will last longer. Scott, where'd you go? Oh, sorry, I just remembered I left the toaster plugged in. Okay. In our last story, Google has an answer to last week's Apple Solar Array. It's a war, I tell you, war! Here at Green Tech Weekly, we will keep the score on the Apple-Google Green Battle. Today, the score is tied one to one. Back to the story. 
Google's Douglas County, Georgia data center recently switched from tap water to raw sewage to cool the computers that we all use every day. Google found that their data center was directly between the sewage plant and the Chattahoochee River. I bet they used Google Maps to discover this disgusting fact. As long as it wasn't Bing. Nobody uses Bing. They siphon 30% of the outflow before it hits the river and pump it through the really colorful pipes. Most of the water evaporates and the rest is then cleaned by Google. They must have the safety search feature turned on. <sighs> Here, fill this. The win-win setup helps the county conserve water and Google gets free cooling. Thanks for joining us. Remember to subscribe to help us out. Hit the like button. Jared, what are you doing? I'm trying to find the button. It's over there on your screen. Okay. Tell your friends to subscribe to get all the green tech news. And as always... Stop! Hold it! Wait! Hang on! What? What? Did I miss a story? No, I just wanted to point out that we made it through this whole show, WA. What? Without acronym. Ah, oh, crap! <laughs> wow. So, can I say it now, Scott? Go ahead. As always, remember to rethink it green. Rethink it green! I can't find the like button, but rethink it green. Say, I'm gonna get you cans. I'm gonna get you cans. Sir, I hate litter. I hate litter. Recycle, don't litter. Recycle. Dang it.